Hey, it's your boy Lord Williamson coming at you with another one, baby. And this time we outside, I'm with my homie, man. Yes, sir. We are going to start the night at the strip club. They have the best drink specials here. So we're going to Luna Luneta. Uh, it's a dope strip club. I got my boys Weston and Xavier. They're going to meet me here. But we about to walk in here, man. I'm going to put this camera up before they say something to us, man. So I like to start my night at the strip club because number one, they have $60 bottles and that's a great deal, especially when you're with four people. And number two, it's always better to start the night at the strip club rather than end the night at the strip club. Because in Medellin, at the end of the night, if you're at the strip club, you're going to start making some irrational decisions. This place is called Luna Luneta and it's definitely a dope spot to pregame. So we just left the little strip club, man. Dope strip club. Now we are going to West. Where are we going? Uh, La Jimmy La. If, if y'all been watching my shows, you might have to lean up a little bit because you're dark skin. But if y'all been, if y'all been watching my show, hold on. And now you see me, now you see me, now you don't. Darkness, everybody, dark, everyone, darkness is pretty. <laughs> Love. Jenny Loud, that's the spot where we're headed to. You gonna shut up my, my YouTube channel anyway. Come on, I just got monetized tonight. Man, I'm gonna put World his Wild I'm gonna put his worldwide West, West right there, man. Boy, I got my boy Kina, aka 95. And I got my boy X right there, man. What's poppin', Brody? Poppin', yeah, Jenny Loud, we headed that way. Yeah. So we're gonna yeah, see we're gonna see yeah. what's poppin'. You know, it's supposed to be some Afro Latinas there. On a scale of one to ten, how drunk are you? Seven. Damn. Six. I'm about a three and a half. Y'all know me. But I'm about a three and a half. We're going to get there. I'm going to catch up to him. I can guarantee it. <laughs> I will catch up. If that's the last thing I do, I can guarantee it. I'm going to find out the truth. I guarantee you that. Like Pepsi. That's a brand name. I stand behind it. I guarantee it. Yo, so we are on La Sententa. I don't know if y'all can hear me. It's a lot of music going on. We are on La Sententa. This is one of the spots where all the locals go. It's a dope spot. They have... Hella clubs. Hey, Los Intenta is one of those places where you can literally come and walk, you know, get some street food, chill with your chick, you know what I'm saying? Bring the homies out, as you can see. And you can just literally walk down the street, man. It's always lit, especially on Fridays and Saturdays. Definitely, definitely come to the 70. So the reason I love the 70 is because they have everything you need. You want bars, they got it. Food, they got it. Clubs, they got it. They literally have it all covered. It kind of reminds me of one of those college towns that has one street, and that street is just lit 24-7. During the week, I would say this is the perfect place to take your girl when you're tired of going to those fancy restaurants. But on the weekend, definitely come to turn up. Like I said earlier, you're not going to see too many gringos out here because at certain times, this place can look a little sketchy. But as long as you know where you're going, it's all good. One of my favorite places on La Sententa is Jenny Lau. It's an Afro-Colombian club, and it's lit. But before that, let's take a walk. Where? Señor Taco. Es bueno or no? Super. I see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so the good thing about partying in Medellin is if the pregame you picked wasn't lit or the club that you went to wasn't lit, all roads usually lead to Pablo or Provenza. And after we turned up at Jenny Lau, which was a great experience, I'm definitely going back, we decided to take our talents to Pablo and Provenza. And luckily at that right time, I ran into my man who is a supporter of my channel and lives right here in Medellin. It's always dope to run into true supporters of my channel, man. Hey man, we outside. We going on. I got my man with me. What's happening? What up, what up, Chef Bro? We back in the building, man. I'm here with my man, Lord Williamson, man. Right. I'm a big fan of this motherfucker. Where you from? I'm from Jersey, man. And how long you out here? Man, I'm, I live out here, man. Shit, Negro. That's all you had to say. <laughs> we finna get up tomorrow. 
the good thing about going to the Pueblo area is there's always going to be something to do. And the reason for that is because gringos go there and locals go there. So this is definitely the best spot for a backup plan if you decide to venture off to another part of the city. And if that part of the city isn't popping, you can always fall back on Pueblo. Three clubs that you can always fall back on are La House, Vin Trash, and Pedo Negro. Let's check them out. I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message, homie, get no flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my success has only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money, the power, respect, and I heard you know so-and-so, you not a threat, cause I really know so-and-so, they like my family, so they gon' pretend that they cool to their best with your motherfucking chest. I'm getting gutted, my flow been like butter, my check in the bank. They see the number, all of my haters feel one of two ways Really upset that they show some respect I can't even think about it, I've been up, so read about it No beat around it, straight to it, no ring around it You coming for me, we'll see about it We'll never see it when I get my feet up A hundred meters where I run the fee up And go catch and nine, I'm on a pier I had to re-up on a reel, so you stay the feeder And put it back into the bit, cause I don't really need it uh. I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message, homie, get no flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my success has only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. You are watching a master at work. So if you're not feeling the club, you can always walk the streets and you're going to run into something. Trust me. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Wowzers. Hey, how's it going? Good. And what's our channel? It's Shopping Your Closet. And we're in Shopping Closet. Where y'all going tonight? We're looking for a good actor. Okay. Yeah, boy, uh, Pero Negro. You know what? Pero Negro. Pero Negro. Si. Like a black dog? Black dog, si. Hey, so I'm outside and I ran to my man, my man Ace. Hey. We out here, baby. You already know what time it is. Let's get it. Feel fine. He just left it last. He's still cold. He's still cold. I'm still there. Hey, look. <laughs> I just came to dance. The fuck? Oh, man. Hey, never mix vodka with Jack Daniels. It was lit last night, man. You gotta love Colombia, man. I know I say this all the time, but Medellin, I love you. I met a lot of dope people last night. Turned up from about nine o'clock to about three o'clock and just had a good time, man. I actually ran into one of the pioneers of this black travel stuff, man. Shout out Ace Live, man. Uh, he made me want to start doing this travel stuff, so I always got to get flowers when flowers are due. That being said, man, I'm about to take my ass back to sleep. Peace.